This is an armor trim, and with there being over a thousand different combinations, I've made it my mission to obtain every single one. But to do that, I first need to collect all 16 armor trims. So let's do that real quick. And now that I got every armor trim, I need to collect an absurd amount of diamonds. Because if you didn't know, you can actually duplicate every trim with seven diamonds. But you may be asking, how much diamonds does he actually need? Well... Let me introduce a visual representation. Okay, so every row has 10 different colors and there's a total of 16 unique armor trims. Oh, and you can't forget that there's four pieces of armor in a set, giving us a total of 640 armor trims. Then we multiply that by the seven diamonds required to duplicate every trim and it gives us a grand total of 4,480 diamonds. And that, well, that's just for one material. So if I want to do this for every set of armor, I'm gonna need well over 30,000 diamonds. So I guess it's time to get to work. Did you really think I was going to mine them all manually? Since I need around 30,000 diamonds, it would take forever to get them all by hand. So, let me introduce tunnel bores. Machines that do all the hard work for me. And hey, would you look at that? I already found some diamonds. Anyways, the cool thing about this machine is that you can build as many modules as you want. And when I say as many as you want, I mean it. Like, look at this, you could legit make it go on forever. Anyways, the downside is that I'm missing the two main items for the build. The first one being iron for pistons and minecarts, which I can easily get by making an iron farm. But the second material isn't as easy. You see, I need almost two stacks of ancient debris. Luckily, I have some TNT laying around. So, let's just head to the nether and start getting all this ancient debris. Honestly, getting all the ancient debris wasn't too bad, and in total, it only took me about two hours to get it all okay and now that i actually got the materials i just need to clear up some space for the big machine so let's just run the small machine until i have enough space okay so it's been about an hour and i already have all the space i need and on top of that i also got 288 diamonds so imagine how many diamonds i'll get when i'm using all 35 machines so on that note let's get to building oh wait i actually have to destroy this other machine real quick time to start building Okay, so I'm pretty much done building, and I just realized I forgot to get the dead coral fans, so... Okay, now we can start digging, is what I would like to say, but having these creepers constantly spawning and breaking my machine is annoying, so I'm gonna turn my world into peaceful mode, using this machine known as a mob switch, and now if I press this lever, mobs should stop spawning, and as you can see, it's working. Now the only thing left to do is mine 30,000 diamonds, and mining diamonds is exactly what I did. Only 40 hours later, I had all the diamonds I needed. And for those who are going to say I cheated, here are the statistics. Now, let's craft the armor trims. Wait, before I craft them... Ooh, this guy only got 20,000 diamonds. Well, I guess I just accidentally broke the world record. And I'm just realizing I shouldn't have done that, since now I have to destroy it all. Now that that's over with, I need to make all the armor trims, and I had a blast making all of them. All I had to do was get the armor trim, then get the material to craft it, and then I had to get the diamonds, and then I crafted the armor trim. And I did this over and over and over again until I was done. I was being sarcastic if you couldn't tell. Anyways, now that I got the trims, I can finally start getting the actual armor, starting with leather, which I can actually get really easily since I already have a stockpile of leather for my piglin bartering farm. So let's just take some of this and turn it all into armor. Then let's put as many armor trims with as many different colors as possible on the armor. And finally, let's put the armor on the stand. And as you can see, I'm still missing about half the colors. You see, to actually get the colors, you need different types of ores. And the only ores I had on hand were gold, redstone, emerald, iron, diamonds, and quartz, meaning I'm still missing four so let's start getting the rest of the ores the first one being copper which i could just mine for and then smelt it the second one being lapis which is actually traded by villagers the next one is amethyst which only spawns within geodes also if you didn't know amethyst actually grows out of these budding amethyst blocks and finally the last material i need is netherite ingots and for these i'm just going to reuse some of the ancient debris from the tunnel bore and this probably isn't enough, but I'm just going to roll with it. Oh, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but to put the armor trims on the armor, you just use the smithing table. Anyways, I think it's time to finally finish the rest of the leather armor set. And I don't have enough netherite, but for now, I'm just going to put getting all the netherite on hold until later when I have to get all 3,000 pieces. <sighs>
that's gonna be so much fun. Anyways, whose idea was it to give us the ability to put netherite on armor as a decoration? It's really expensive and it doesn't even look good compared to the diamond variant. Anyways, I think it's time to move on to the chainmail armor, which can only be obtained from killing mobs, or at least I thought so, but apparently villagers trade the chainmail armor, so let's make a simple villager trading hall. Next, let's trap all these villagers and make them work for the rest of their lives. Then, let's get some emeralds from my raid farm, and finally, let's scam these villagers by only paying one emerald per piece of armor. And now that I got all the chainmail, let's set up another display. And finally, let's put all the chainmail with the armor trims onto the display. And I'm done with the chainmail. And before I move on, there's two problems I gotta fix. The first one is that I'm still wearing this boring armor, so... Yeah, that looks so much better. And the second problem is this. No, not the armor stands, the display. It looks terrible. So I'm gonna fix that by making a huge vault to store all the armor trims. But first, I need to clear up some space. And now that I'm done clearing out the space, I need to actually make it look good. To start off, I'm gonna put all the displays with the armor stands into the vault. Then I'm gonna do the walls, which I'm gonna use iron blocks for since they're the blocks that look the closest to the inside of an actual vault. And I'm out of iron. And I'm out of iron again. Now that I'm done with that, let's add some lights so mobs won't spawn. And finally, for the finishing touches, I'm gonna make a redstone vault door. But first, let me get the materials for it. And now, let's just build it. With that, I'm officially done with the vault. And as you can see, you just walk forward and the vault door will automatically open. And you'll be amazed with all the armor sets. Well, I guess not yet. It's kind of empty right now. So, let's get to work on the iron armor. Which I could easily obtain since I have an iron farm. Oh wait, I forgot I used all of the iron on the vault. Now, let's just put all the armor trims on the armor, and that's the iron armor done. Okay, so the next set I'm gonna get is gold, which will be really easy to get since I already have a really fast gold farm. So let's just AFK it for a little bit, and now that I got all the gold, let's turn it all into armor. Finally, let's put the armor trims on the armor, then onto the armor stands. And honestly, I was surprised by how good the gold ended up looking, especially the redstone one. It actually looks really good. With that set complete, there's only three left to go. The next one being diamond armor. And since I don't want to go diamond mining for another 10 hours, I'm just going to use villagers. But villagers are way too expensive. So if I hit this lever, a zombie will convert them to a zombie villager. Then if I bop him with the splash potion of weakness and feed him this apple, then wait a little bit will drop his prices and now the only problem is that he only trades three of each so while i wait i'll add another side to the trading hall and then add 10 more villagers finally i just have to put the armor on the armor stand and these look really good especially since they're enchanted so they have that nice glow however the downside to them being enchanted is that they drop my frames even more so if it looks like i'm at two frames it's probably because i am now i only have one armor set before the nether and you're probably thinking what set is it well if you didn't know there's these things called turtle helmets and you can actually place armor trim on them but getting these are extremely annoying since you need five scoots to craft one why do i look so goofy anyways to get scoot you need to wait until baby turtle hatches and grows up then it will drop one scoot and this process takes about an hour so since i don't want to spend hundreds of hours doing this manually i'm gonna make a scoot farm now that i got all the scoot let's do some editing magic and would you look at that they're all magically done finally let's move on to getting all the ancient debris which i need 4,000 of and since there's no automatic way to farm it i'm just gonna take a hands-on approach and use loads of tnt so enjoy this time lapse that's all the ancient debris acquired and again for the doubters here are the statistics so now i just gotta smelt all of it down then combine it with gold to make ingots and now i just need to buy some more diamond armor then upgrade it to netherite oh wait i just remembered you need smithing templates to upgrade to netherite actually wait i got an idea if i downgrade my world to 1.19 where you don't need smithing templates then if i turn all the armor into netherite and finally if i update my game back to 1.20 bam not a single extra diamond used and if anyone says it's cheating, it's called working smarter, not harder. Also, before I do the netherite armor, I'm gonna do all the armor I missed earlier. Honestly, the gold looks a lot better than I thought it would. 
And now that I'm done with all the other sets, I just need to do all the netherite. With this set, I'm officially done. And just like that, I had collected every armor trim combination in the game. You know, it's funny how I spent over 100 hours on this project and I'll never use one of these armor sets.